Hello YouTube, this is my Lego differential. I'll zoom in on the main piece, which is this. There are actual real Lego pieces that are like this, they're differentials, but I don't have any of them, so I decided to create my own one using my own pieces. Basically what happens is a motor will turn this, or in this case, when I turn the back wheels, it'll turn this, which will transfer to this, which will spin this without spinning the axle. That was about the hardest part because I can't spin the axle right here, but I have to spin this thing, which will spin this around, which will make the gear, or will make the wheels spin. So, I zoom back out. I'll show you what I mean. On a normal car, the inner wheel has to travel a shorter distance than the outer wheel when you're making a turn. But when you don't have differentials like this, one of the wheels will slip because if they're both on the same axle, then that, um, both wheels have to turn at exactly the same speed. I'll show you at the side that doesn't have a differential. It's not turning very easily. And one of the wheels is slipping. When I flip it around to the side that does have a differential, spins quite easily. That's because one of the wheels can stop while the other wheel gets going faster. Or one wheel can go slower while the other wheel goes slightly faster. So now, you might notice I don't have my normal Lego bag background. That's because I'm going to bring this to some extreme speeds using my Kinex motor. Let me plug, plug it in. First of all, then I'm going to add on a handle I have to make it easier to grip. Just plug this in. This is actually turning very fast. So now when I stick the car's wheel to it, you see the front wheel spin. And they're both spinning at the same speed right now. If I stop one of them, then the other one goes twice as fast. It's kind of hard to see on camera though because they're already going so fast. So that's basically what the differential does. So I'll show you the differential one more time up close. Now that you understand what it's supposed to do. So when this thing spins, it spins this gear, which goes around and spins these two axles. But when one stops, this gear can keep on, this has to keep on spinning, so this gear starts turning. Normally it's slow when, uh, it's, and it's stopped when both wheels are going at the same speed, but when one wheel stop, this starts spinning, which allows this to go twice as fast. So please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.